guys! Okay, so today I am doing a review on the Coveted Bubble Blender. I'm sure you've seen posts about it on Facebook. There are tons of videos, um, but I just wanted to throw in my little two cents on this crazy little guy. Um, so if you want to see a review on the Bubble Blender, just keep watching. Alright, let's start the review. Okay, so I bought my... Um, bubble blender off of whippycake.com. Um, for those of you who don't know Whippy Cake, she is a um, blogger. She used to live in Utah. I believe she lives in Arizona now, but I just really like her, and so I like to support her because I think she's awesome. Okay, so I already opened, like ripped off the top um, because it comes in this cool little like black packaging. Um, Whippy Cake's name is on the front. It says Bubble Blender here. Um, it's pretty cool. And so I already ripped off the top and then I went to feel it. And I literally stuck my finger in and was like, oh my gosh, I have to do a video before I pull the whole thing out. So I just stuck my finger in it. And it feels so weird that I knew I had to stop and make a video. So this is Bubble Blender, the new Bubble Blender. It's a silicone makeup applicator that will give you a streak-free, flawless finish using any cream or liquid cosmetic without wasting one drop of product. And it says to clean, clean it before and after each use by using gentle soap and rinse well with warm water. And keep out of direct sunlight, store in a protective bag, keep out of reach of children, do not eat it. Come on now. So um, on Whippy's video, she said that you can just keep it in this little pouch. That's why she sends it in this pouch. Um, and I've seen this all over Facebook. Um, so I was like super interested to try it. Now I know other places sell it for less expensive. But I just really like Whippy and so I want to support her. And so I don't mind paying the extra dollar too. Okay, so check it out, you guys. Oh, what is this? It kills me. It feels like, it feels like a breast implant. Honestly, that's like the only way to describe it. It is, it is weird. It's very strange. Yeah, it's weird. So as you can see, it's just this little silicone clear bubble. Um, now it says, does say wash before use, so I'm gonna go wash it really quickly. So from what I've seen and what I've heard is that it makes it so that you can use less product um, because nothing absorbs into the blender. So let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna put a small little pump of my Make Sense foundation. This is in the color Cream Beige. If you wanna know more about the products that I sell, um, which is all of the Cynogen's products, I'll have a link in the description. I'm gonna take a little bit, dab, now, I'd usually use about a pump or two on my face, so let's try. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. Oh, this is so weird feeling. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. Okay. Just kind of patting. It feels like someone else's fingers are blending it onto my face almost. It is weird. It's it's strange. I can't describe it. All I can say is it really does feel like I know I'm doing it, but it feels like someone else is touching my face. Like, it feels like someone else's fingers. It's really weird. Well, I like the application. And I've used hardly any products, so that is pretty cool. <laughs> this is so cool. This is beyond cool. So far, I'm really impressed. I really like the application. And you guys know I love my Morphe M439. But this is cool. The only thing I will say, which I don't know if you can tell, making it look weird on my pores, it's not settling in the pores. And perhaps it's because this Makes Sense Foundation is, um, it won't go into your pores, and so maybe that's why it's just 
this particular foundation. Maybe the blender wants to shove it into my pores, but the foundation won't let it. That could be. Can you hear it? It's cracking me up. It's like such an odd shape and, and feel and sound. Let's go over the nose a little bit. Here's my one complaint, and it could just be because it's my first time using it, is this is taking a long time to apply. Like normally, I'd be done by now with my M439. But I'm also a pro with that brush. Like I've used it for so long. So I'm sure there's just like a learning curve. Okay, going around the nostrils is weird. <sighs> it's just such a different feeling to get used to. Like I can't. Let's go, let's give the nose a break for a minute. See how it's trying to like go into my pores? Do you see that? And the foundation like won't let it? That's kind of weird. Oh, that's beyond strange. Okay. Well, there's just another testament to how amazing this foundation is. It really, like, it won't go into your pores, and so it will make it so you don't break out. So I'm interested to see how it does with a foundation other than Make Sense, because I feel like it would push it into your pores. I'm not sure that it's giving me as full of a coverage as a Morphe brush would. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it would be almost as if you applied it with just your fingers, but it is more, you know, sterile and clean to do it with this applicator. So it's kind of sticking to my nose in a weird way. And I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. Can you tell? It's just getting like kind of a weird, like patchiness. And I don't know if it's because it's already dry onto the sponge in certain areas and so I'm pulling off what's already dry. Because this makeup does dry down to a powder finish and so maybe that's what's going on. Yeah, it's looking really weird on my nose. Let's move on, let's get out of my nose area. I think maybe I'm just taking too long to apply it. I'm going to hurry and just squirt it right on just a tiny bit. Because that's what I like with the Morphe brush. Ugh, is that you can go back over it if you want a little more coverage. This foundation, I would describe it as a medium coverage. So, guys, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Look at what it's doing. Uh, it's weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, this is gonna like hurt my heart if I don't like it because I really love Whippy Cake. And I don't want to hate her blender, but you guys. Okay, so tapping seems to be better with it. Okay. It's intriguing, that's for sure. Um, I think that's as good as it's gonna get without pulling it back off. So that's kind of a bummer, because um, I feel like this makeup is really, really blendable with my Morphe brush and buildable. And this, I feel like, is just not blending super well. And in fact, it looks so strange on my nose. Can you tell, like, my nostrils are still really red? And it's like trying to settle into my pores. It's just kind of weird. Okay, let's try squirting some on my Morphe and see if I can fix this. Settling really weird. Um, I want more coverage on my cheeks too. Okay, yeah, it's like immediately getting fixed with my Morphe. Oh, guys, this is bumming me out. I really wanted to like this. Yeah, the Morphe brush just made it look flawless. Hmm. So, I wanted to like it. 
I really, really did. But to me, it's a total flop. And I'm so sad. I really, really wanted to like it. Um, how about let's try using it as a concealer. Um, what do you think? All right, peeps. Let's do our itty bitty triangle shape. Okay, let's try concealer. Hmm. Okay, now this one is settling into my pores. Ugh, and I don't like that. However, I do feel like I didn't need quite as much product as I would normally with my beauty blender or makeup brush because I put on as much concealer as I normally would put on and um, this is clearly too much. And with my makeup sponge, beauty blender, or brush, this would have been the perfect amount. So that's kind of cool. Does it freak you out when someone like blends under their eyes? Oh, it freaks me out. Because <laughs> the eye like bulges out. Uh, it's just so time consuming. <laughs> like I'm already sick of this. I just want it to be on and blended by now. Okay, I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. I almost don't want to like bring it anywhere else because it's going to push it into my pores. I'm not okay with that. It just looks weird. Okay, let's set this. Well, I gotta be honest you guys, I don't like it. Okay. I'm gonna really quickly finish the rest of my makeup and then I will check back in with you for the rest of the review. Okay guys, so I'm back with my finished makeup look um, to give you just the overall review of the Bubble Blender. Um, honestly, I'm not a fan. And it kills me to say it because as I previously stated, I love the cake. And there are other brands who make it obviously, um, but they are the same thing. Um, and I really wanted to like it. I've seen so many posts about it. Um, I haven't seen any reviews though, so hopefully this will give you guys some help. But, um, personally, to me, it just feels like you're using your fingers. Um, so it doesn't give you, um, a ton of control. It doesn't really give you a ton of blending power. Um, I feel like it's as if you were to just use your fingers, honestly. Um, and to me, I don't like that. That's why I use brushes. That's why I like brushes. Um, I honestly ended up having to go over it. You'll see in the video, or you saw in the video, with my Morphe M439, which is just tried and true. And um, that ended up helping it. But it just kept trying to push it into my pores and the specific makeup that I use, which is the Make Sense Foundation. Um, it's, it won't go into, it doesn't go into your pores, and so it was just looking really weird. And then when I did end up using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, that just pushed it into the cracks and crevices of my face, into the pores. It just made it look nasty. Um, it looked kind of like as if you were to just put makeup on an orange. Like, it just made all my pores really obvious and nasty, and um, I don't know, I just wasn't a fan. And I feel so bad, because like I said... I really wanted to like it, but I just really didn't. So, um, I am going to watch a few more tutorials about it. I'm going to, I'm going to keep using it because I honestly really want to like it. Um, and if I end up finding a way that it works better to apply, then I will show you guys for sure. Um, but as of right now, it was a downer for me and I'm so sad. Let me know in the comments what your guys' experience was with this. If you're going to try it anyway, go ahead. You know what? It differs from person to person. So if you wanted to give it a shot and you're like, dang it, what? I liked this. I wanted to try it. Do it anyway. Everybody's different. You might love it. Just because I didn't particularly like it doesn't mean that you won't love it. So go ahead and give it a shot. As for that, that is it, you guys. If you do want to see a um, tutorial on this makeup look, go ahead and just leave it in the comments below, and I will also do a video for that. This is just 
um, a green smoky eye using all Senegence products. But this is the makeup that does not budge or smudge. As you can see, I'm going to take my fingers. Nothing comes off. So um, if you want more information about that, I will have it in the description. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.